What's poppin' everybody? This is Tiffany, aka Miss Beautiful. And today, as you can see by the title, will be a doing my makeup in alphabetical order. <laughs> I seen James Charles and Nikki Tutorials um, do this look. I think one of Nikki Tutorials subscribers recommended she do this challenge. Just a couple things, you guys. Um, I can't hear out of my right ear right now, so if I sound kind of weird, it's because I like, I am weird. <laughs> um, my nose is stopped up and I have a lot of mucus in my throat right now that's like, I don't really want to come up. So yeah, I'm just congested and you know, living life. So, so I will be using products of course that I use in my like everyday routine. The goal here is to get through the video and uh, to make it look decent, but I don't know how how realistic that goal is, but we're just gonna go for it. So if you're interested, stay tuned. first thing we're going to be doing is concealer. What I use is the Colourpop No Filter Concealer in Deep Dark 52. So we're just gonna put on, oh, oh. <laughs> it even feels weird. Oh my god. Apply my concealer where I would usually apply it. Okay. I'm gonna go in with a flat brush and just blend this out. <laughs> I'm scared. It's not looking too bad, you guys. Okay. She kinda cute or whatever. So next we have contour. Um, I don't have any cream contour. Um, <laughs> so we're gonna go in with our powder contour. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Help me, Lord. And I'm using the It's My Ray Ray BH Cosmetics um, contour in the shade of Brownie Bite. I love this contour, as you can see. My under eyes like creasing already. <laughs> Can I go back once I've moved on? All right, so I'm contoured. I'm looking really crazy. <laughs> I'm looking so crazy. Next we have eyebrows. So I'm gonna take my brand's eyebrow pomade in Ebony. Alright guys, so I have my eyebrows done and they look crazy. Oh my god, so I'm going to have to clean it up with like foundation when we get to it, so yeah. Next is eyelashes. <laughs> These are lashes from my brand called Space Jam. Probably should have went with something a little more... I didn't think they would be as dramatic as they are. Oh my god. I still have to do my eyeshadow. Oh my god. So starting off, I think brown and soda pop. I'm mixing those together. Then I'm gonna go in with the uh, Roxanne and Jacks. It's like a <laughs> Then I'm gonna go in with Queen. I mean, for real, for real, so far, kind of good. 
opening bow <laughs> dries are doing some major, major creasing. <laughs> so I'm gonna do the other eye off camera really quick and BRB. <laughs> Alright guys, so I finished the eye look. My eyes hurt so bad because I had it oh I'm like this the whole time. <laughs> So my eyes are hurting. <laughs> um, I didn't even think about having to do the lower lash line, so I guess we'll do that. <laughs> oh my god. So I didn't show the colors earlier because so pretty much I'm gonna go in with um chip and soda pop on the lower lash line and smoke it out with um Roxanne and Jax. I think this is Queen. I use for the lid. I'm gonna just do jacks. Then I'm gonna do the queen in the inner corner. Next is finishing powder. Mm, okay. This might actually be a pretty good thing though. Finishing powder is what I use pretty much when I'm finished with my foundation. So, we're gonna apply this. I think this might actually be good because I do have oily skin and I know Jackie Ina pretty much puts on powder before her foundation, so maybe this will work. Alrighty, so I put that everywhere. I really want to save my under eyes, but at this point, <laughs> I just don't think they could be saved. So sad, just so sad. Next is foundation, woohoo! <laughs> <clears throat> so I usually go in with the Maybelline finish, what? The Maybelline Superstay 24 Hour Foundations in color 362 and 375. I don't know how this is going to work. I usually do two pumps of each on my flat kumki. Uh, then I guess I'll try to like work around my contour. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, guys. What do you think? <laughs> it doesn't look bad, but I feel like I've put on so much under my foundation, it just feels kind of yucky. Next, we have highlights. So I go back into the BH Cosmetics It's My Ray Ray palette. And we use the French Toast to highlight. Why did I put on so much? Oh my gosh. It's really gonna blow it out. My under eyes. <laughs> Get not my under eyes. Not the business. <sighs> that isn't completely bad. But the highlight really just accentuates how deep, how bad my under eyes are. Okay. I'm over it. I'm over it. So next we have lip gloss. I have been waiting for this moment because my lips are so dry. Look, they're so dry. I'm taking my Hydro Gloss for my brand that'll be available soon in the color Cafe. Uh. Mm. That's just so hydrating. Oh my gosh. It's 
Sorry, I was taking my time with that. <laughs> taking my time with that one. Yeah, yeah. Next we have lip liner. <laughs> so I'm gonna take ColourPop's lip liner in pitch. Yeah. It's like a brown. A really dark brown. <laughs> Kind of shade it in. I like that. That's cute. Oh, okay, girl. Okay. Then next we have lipstick. <laughs> so going in with the ABH <coughs> mini lipstick in a latte. Just gonna put this. This is really weird. <laughs> wow. That actually looks really good. Mmm. -hmm. Okay. Do the lip gloss under the lip liner and the lipstick. I'm digging it. That way it doesn't look like super glossy, but it's not like super matte either. You know what I mean? I'm really feeling that little combo right here. Next we have mascara. I don't know where I got these from, but these are the little Max, uh, MAC sample. Uh, and this is in Extreme Dimension 3D Black Clash. My lashes are finally blended. Yay. All right, you guys. Next, we have a, a few things left. Wait, what? <laughs> Next, we have primer. <laughs> so, I'll be using the Lancome La Base Pro primer. <sighs> and I guess the trick to applying this is to not smear it all over the face, but to pat it into the face. Okay, we'll try. <sighs> oh my God, please don't ruin, please, please, please don't ruin my makeup. Oh my God, 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 I'm dying. I'm dying inside. Oh, oh my God. You guys, I just made my face like 10 times worse. <laughs> Let me get my full heat. Oh my god. I can't. Uh, really? Y'all see this on my way? Oh my god, I cannot. <laughs> it could have been worse. <laughs> but this is pretty bad. <laughs> Oh my god. Ew. Ugh. Now I look and feel like I've been sweating all day long. Like, this is too much. Next, we have setting spray. Like, finally. I needed you like 10 products ago. <laughs> like, uh, so I'm gonna go in with the Sasha Buttercup setting powder. We're gonna try to set these under eyes, but I mean, they're pretty much gone at this point. So. It's really no saving you. Then it just makes it a little worse. <laughs> so pretty much setting wherever I put my um, concealer in. So I'm loving the setting powder, I think. It's just making me look porcelain again. How I like it. <laughs> Y'all, I could not get over my under eye. <laughs> it looks so bad. Last, and finally least, <laughs> now I have a setting spray. And this is the Ben Nye Final Seal Setting. <laughs> the, 
I don't like to get went off anyway. Okay, cool. All right, you guys. So, final thoughts on doing my makeup in alphabetical order. Um, it was very interesting. Um, troubling at times. <sighs> very disheartening. But, um, but um, overall, this video was supposed to be, you know, for fun to see if I could do it. I feel like. I mean, I feel like my face looks actually pretty good. Like, this would look like a normal full face to me. You know what I mean? Like, on a regular day to day or whatever. Okay. So, I thoroughly enjoyed kind of mixing it up. I wouldn't recommend doing this <laughs> usually. <laughs> um, but for the sake of this video, I, I think it it really just turned out really good. I challenge every one of you guys watching this video to do your makeup in ABC order and record it. Let me see it. So yeah, the only thing I can say that I took away from it that I might actually keep is the whole lip combo. I like the gloss, liner, and the lipstick combo. That was really like I really like that. I did kind of like the eyelashes before the eyeshadow. I know it's a little difficult, but I feel like just having your lashes on before your eyeshadow will save some time. <laughs> like, I don't know. I feel like it'll save time for me. And that's, I would say, if you're doing like a simple look like I did, if you're doing a more dramatic look, definitely put your lashes on afterwards. But if you're doing something super simple, super what? <laughs> if you're doing something super simple, two to three colors, I would say. <laughs> Cause I mean the eyes don't look bad at all. For real, for real. I can still say we see just a smidge of contour, not much. Um, I'm gonna zoom in. I really hate to on my under eyes because they look really bad. <laughs> I'm embarrassed. I'm really embarrassed. You can probably see it like from back here. They're dark. All right, you guys. <laughs> This is what my under eyes are looking like. They look like complete filth. Like, it's so dark. There's no, like, nothing. It don't even look like I put any kind of concealer, foundation, powder, none of that on. Okay. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So, alright, guys. Other than that, I really, other than, um, my bags and me being, like, super sick, um, so my energy is just a tad bit low in this video. I thoroughly enjoyed making this video. Um, so, yeah. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, see ya. Uh...